How's it going? Oh, hey, how's it going? Ah, oh, so nice out here. Yeah? So nice. I have a 2018 Ridgeline. Uh, so far, I love it. Uh, this is the only car that I drive. But we are, me and my wife, is thinking about to convert this sort of truck to a camper. So what do I think about the 3.5 lift kits? So far, honestly, it's really good. I swapped my uh, OEM wheels to 17 inch wheels and put a 32 inch tire. Gas mileage, you know, you know how it goes. We have a lot of uh, now uh, ground clearance for us. The driving quality is really nice. As you can see, uh, I put a accidentally rotate uh, so the tire and the wheel went front. This will avoid uh, rubbing our tire at the back, but we still have a little rubbing at the front. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I trim a little bit of wall there. Uh, it's a plastic, so. Yeah, I just need to trim a little bit more uh, down here, but like no rubbing at the back. And honestly, uh, truck looks amazing, right? We are in uh, Ontario, Canada, and uh, now the green stuff is coming up. Today feels like uh, plus two was minus one this morning, but uh, yeah, I think it's great day to give a review the little rough train there so we'll see how it goes and as you can see we have ton of clearance I have about I don't know 12 inches like yeah ah, so far I'm so happy with the the results and then the Trexta, their parts is really good quality. So if you are thinking about doing it, I recommend it. And this tire, I gotta show you. So this tire is from Okian. It's called Outpost AT. Really, really not much noise. This is like an all-terrain tire. Uh, last all-terrain tire had a little bit of noise, but this one barely none and the traction in winter time and the traction in like mud and sand I had a great experience so I really really do recommend if you're thinking um, to upgrade to the, to the new tire if you're driving um, uh, all wheel drive or like Subaru Outbacks go with the Outpost AT so we're gonna follow this hydro line and see how it does so we are going down to stuff hills wheel drive okay i drove this hill down and then i forgot to put up my tailgate and a coffee and coffee is still there <laughs> Actually, this is my first year attempt to do overland. I've been thinking about many, many years and then here I am. I think we have to turn it back. 
I still don't have the traction board and I'm alone. It is good idea to just turn back. Okay, my car is just right there. We'll see how it does. My tire pressure is still around 35, 37s. But I'm gonna really take it easy. This is the uphill that like... Oof. Slow. Take it slow. No problem. So good. I love it. So we uh, moved to a different spot. Uh, good like about this much so yeah and we have more uphills up there so let's go so these are all like uh, private properties and then right in the middle it has the road found the great spot uh, I think I'm gonna just park here let's find a good spot where it's like nobody is up here so I'm just gonna chill so this is the kit that I bring just in case if I go wrong so this is a little box that I just put like deflator, inflator, some meals and some emergency kits. Yeah. I think I need this. It's good. And also what I like about uh, the Ridgeline and this side truck is that it's very versatile and it's just uh, even tight spots you can actually pull out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking it. I'm taking What? Yeah, I love mid-sized trucks. Stay, stay tuned for the build. Uh, we're not gonna do any... Uh, see how it goes. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you like this video, uh, please uh, subscribe. Uh, and then hit the like button. And then, the, yeah. See how it goes. Thank you. And... Uh, have a great day. Bye.